All right, well, we're going to see more of Vandahar. We're now going to hear from him. He's going to tell us about the weapons, the brand new creative class system, score streaks, and even more details about the weapons. David? If you're just tuning in, you're seeing a lot of new features that likely require a bit of explanation. So let me give you the quick recap. With the new creative class in Black Ops 2 multiplayer, we're putting the power back into the hands of a player to customize for his play experience. We give you 10 points, and you can use those points to allocate in any way in which you will be successful in the field. In fact, you don't even have to take content from a particular category of content if you don't want to. You can forgo a particular weapon, maybe your secondary, and then use that point somewhere else for example, an extra perk. And with the wild cards, you can bend and extend and break the rules for even greater customization and flexibility. Let me tell you about score streaks. Score streaks replace kill streaks. And here's how this works. Anything you do in the game that earns you score is helping you earn your rewards. Every score streak has its score requirement. Therefore, there's no strict mutual exclusivity. In fact, you can earn two rewards in a single scoring event. Using score allows us to reward players for playing the objective and helping their team win. Now, you don't even have to be a slayer, a guy with a high KD ratio, but it doesn't hurt either because getting kills also earns you score. Weapons and attachments have changed in a pretty significant way in Black Ops 2. We're using the 2025 time period as inspiration for all sorts of new gadgets and technologies that we can put back in the hands of a player. And the attachments are particularly interesting because this is the only way you're going to be able to modify the behavior of a weapon. For example, the laser sight actually is visualized on the gun so you can see when someone is doing work to you at close range firing from the hip. The MMS is a really good example of an attachment where you actually send a pulse wave through the world and can detect people. It's a rusher's tool. You will see them when they're stationary and through smoke. You can use that in a standoff battle and take that guy down. So that's a very brief overview of our core gameplay systems. And we're really excited that the guys on the show floor get to experience this right now. And the rest of you will get to experience it on November 13th.